Right, we've got the P4 International A-level Jan 2023, question one. Uh, got us some partial fractions and binomial series expansion. Uh, so the, uh, the partial fractions, we write it A over 1 minus X plus B over 2 plus 3X, multiplying through the way that denominator. Uh, the 1 minus X term cancels with this one, and the other one cancels with the B. So I'm going to write it like this. I've got another look at coefficients. Uh, so the 5X is going to correspond with 3A times X and uh, minus BX. But I'm going to substitute some, some values in. Uh, X equals 1 is a good one because it makes this term disappear, uh, giving me that 15 is 5A, so A is equal to 3. Um, then I could substitute um, X equals minus 2 thirds. That's a fraction. So uh, so I'm going to do something a bit easier and put X equal to 0. Uh, so I'll just have 10 on the left-hand side. I'll have 2A plus B over here. I know the A is equal to 3 using that b is equal to 4, so the partial fractions look like this. And then I'm going to do a binomial expansion of the whole thing, so I'll do two separate binomial expansions. So I'll write them like this. Um, so I'll do with the binomial expansion for 1 minus x to the minus 1 to start off with. Here's, the, uh, here's what it says in the formula book. 1 nx, nn minus 1, 1 times 2 over x squared. The next term would be n, n minus 1, n minus 2, over 1 times 2 times 3, or 3 factorial, multiplied by the x cubed. So this one, 1, n times x, n, n minus 1, 1 times 2. It simplifies down to just this, which is actually a geometric series. Uh, and so it'd be an infinite geometric series. 1 is the first term, and then the x is the common ratio. So 1 over 1 minus x, which is what this is. Um, it's that without 3, really. Um, just thought I'd mention that. And then um, the other one, um, not quite as easy. The, um, I need a 1 here for the binary expansion and not a 2. So I'll take a 2 to the minus 1 out as a factor. Um, so I'll write it like this. Uh, and then do the expansion. 1 plus n times x and n minus 1. The, um, the whole thing then simplifies down to this. So I've got a half here. This will be minus 3 quarters x. This one. These, the ones and the twos, they did cancel. So that's just nine over four x squared and multiplied by a half. Uh, and then I'm going to put it all together and I need a three in front as well and a four in front of the other one. So I'll write it like this. Uh, and then when I simplify it, uh, I've got three and two here, give me five. The x terms, uh, well actually I don't get any because I've got three x here and I've got minus three x here as well. Um, this is 9 halves of x. I'm going to do 4 times 9 over 8. And this is 6 halves of uh, x squared, rather. Um, give me 15 over 2. The um, the last part is the range of values which is valid. There's no one, so the set of values work for both of these binomial expansions. Um, so for the, 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 the one in the formula book, that x needs to be in between 1 and minus 1. So, so that x needs to be uh, in between 1 and minus 1, or the modulus is less than 1. The other one, uh, well, we wrote it like this. So that's the expansion we did. So this 3 over 2x needs to be in between 1 and minus 1. And that's actually a tighter range, um, because this, if I multiply by 2 and divide by 3, this is the same as saying that the x is in between 2 thirds and minus 2 thirds. Um, which is uh, all contained in this one. So, so this is the range that works for both of them. And I could write it just like this. X is in between minus two thirds and, uh, and two thirds.